We are here, my love. <laughs> Hi, thank you for being here. We're not very far away, my darling. It takes a little bit of time for her. Lacking in a little bit of confidence at least. Worrying about everything in the world she is. But we reassure her. The reassurance, isn't it, my love? Reassurance yes. of the self. <laughs> We keep saying to you, and we keep saying to all, is listen to that mind of yours, but to let the spirit talk to it, isn't it, my sweet? Her mind mm -hmm. gets in the way a lot, and we try to say, Janine, just listen to her spirit, and it will guide her the right way, won't it, my love? <laughs> yes. I'm going to chat a little with her. I would say, uh, lady, isn't she, my dear? <laughs> we Hi, Richard. Here. Yes, we uh, appreciate the opportunities to come and uh, speak through Jermaine as uh, gentle persuasion, as uh, Ethel was describing earlier, isn't it? She doesn't quite trust all the time. And uh, we try to expose her vulnerability a little bit out to the forefront and to show many that uh, she is learning too, isn't she, my dear? Mm -hmm. The uh, development of her blending with us and communication takes a little bit of time, doesn't it? But uh, mm -hmm. we show these vulnerabilities with Janine. She doesn't like it too greatly all the time, I would say, my dear, but uh, we show this to help others, of course, isn't it? Yeah, healing and help. But you bring up a good statement. How do we learn to trust that we're hearing spirit versus our own mind? Of course, we were, I would say, listening to your conversation earlier is uh, the way we communicate to Janine and communicate through her, I would say, clear audience. But she doesn't always quite believe that we are talking to her. She said, well, it is all in her head and at her imagination, I would say. But of course, you have your imagination and you use it for communication in your meditations, don't you, my dear? We use that environment to create, I would say, a link to us. But quite often, a lot of your imagination, the uh, things that you experience in meditative state are part of your consciousness, my dear, part of your spirit and many of your life experiences from other lifetimes and the way that you are seeing the spiritual realm. You may experience vibrant colours, mightn't you, my dear, in your meditations, bright colours and vibrations. But this is how we see the vibrations in spirit. But your spirit is already seeing that vibration in meditative state. So it is quite, a, I would say, it quite amuses us. We see you sort of meditating, I would say, particularly Janine. And she gets very excited. She said, well, I've seen all these wonderful, I would say, colours and vibrations. But uh, we try to explain to her this is how she is seeing it in the spirit. So you trust this, don't you? You trust the energy in that meditative state. You trust the communication that you are seeing visually with your eyes in that, uh, I would say, that altered state of consciousness. But uh, when we bring the messages to you, we want you to trust that more. You say, well, I get a word in my mind, Richard, and I think it's my words. But what you must understand is your spirit is communicating with you. As I've mentioned before, you are in that, I would say, multifaceted. You're like that beautiful crystal, aren't you? That diamond, my dear, it is divided at different layers. So, of course, your spirit is communicating with you. We want you to understand it and believe that knowledge that is coming through. It is a bit like when I talk to Janine in trance state, her multifaceted part of her spirit is communicating as well, I would say, with uh, my vibration, you see what I mean. So we will communicate with her 
of her spirit, sort of like merging of two souls together. Do you see what I mean? So when it comes to your mediumship, my dear, or many other mediums, that is what is happening as your soul is connecting to you too. It has the information, it has the guidance. If I give you a little example, I will try not to uh, talk for too long, my dear, because I know that I can uh, go on for quite a long time and uh, we don't want Janine giving me a little telling off, my dear. But uh, when you get your messages from the loved ones, your spirit is communicating on spirit side of life, the other part of you communicating with a loved one to bring the message through, but also your spiritual team are blending in with that vibration. So it is all you're all coming together, aren't you? I would say to bring that message forward. So it is the case we always say to Janine, she must trust that vibration, trust the uh, messages that are coming through because uh, she is spirit, isn't she as well, my dear? Yes, thank you. The message or the word that I heard you say quite often or several times in that is trust. And I know while I'm working with a lot of mediums and with myself, we have issues with that trust thing, right? What are some ways that we can um, develop a stronger trust with our relationship with our spirit guides and team? Of course, it's just uh, Janine tries to connect to me quite a lot. And uh, mm -hmm. she says, well, Richard, bring me the information through, which will say to the girls, you know, Alice, and uh, come through and help her out with, I would say, a situation or an experience that she wants to understand more. And she doesn't always hear us. So we tend to come through and trance state for her and to bring her the knowledge that way. And we will communicate for her that way she finds it more comfortable but of course finding your connection and link it is all about the healing as I have mentioned to Janine many times your layers your vibration your multiple layers of energy within your auric layers are holding on to the vibration of trauma I would say from many lifetimes and, and through the experiences that you go through now and of course when those energy vibrations mingle together they sort of create a, a vibration of healing that is required within yourselves so of course when we try to come closer to you to bring you a message i.e. for your clairvoyance or clairaudience whatever abilities that you are using my dear we have to work through those layers it's like a trying to break down the walls, isn't it? To try and come a little bit closer to you. So I would say the more healing that is required, the more stepping back, I would say, we'll come closer into that vibration, but uh, it takes some convincing for Janine to get her to slow up, my dear, you know, she doesn't like to always stop. But we have already showed Janine the less she does with her, I would say her spiritual work, and goes away and reflects the closer connection that we will come to her. So quite often if uh, we don't do work for her then for a little while and she goes away to do that healing, she says, well, Richard, you seem to be coming through a little bit clearer now or more of my personality will come through into the vibration of Janine. It's because she has been willing to accept herself, isn't it, my dear? It is the healing, isn't it? But uh, yeah, we've yeah. mentioned many times before, haven't we? So Yeah. I, I love what you said about the healing and trusting of ourselves that will open up um, the more clear channel. Um, mm -hmm. I know that a lot of us do a lot of inner work. What are some things that we can do to help to drop those walls and to do those that inner work to be more at a higher vibration and open? Well, of course, you know, Janine says, well, okay, I will uh, write a list of problems and uh, it's quite often what she does and uh, she'll say, right, I will do one problem after the other to try and work through that and to, I would say, process that uh, problem that she's trying to deal with but we try to explain to her to go within the quietness the stillness of herself because of course 
your multifaceted, your, as I've said before, that beautiful diamond, and those layers of energy and vibration, all those traumas, all that energy is communicating between each other in those layers of energy. And of course, they're all communicating and flying off all those signals of vibration and energy. So each trauma that you experience in each lifetime will communicate with the next lot of trauma that you are dealing with in this lifetime too. So imagine it as like light frequencies of energy or firing off light vibrations and communication between each other. It is layers upon layers upon layers of challenges and emotions that you are dealing with. So what I will say, it is changing the mindset, isn't it? You have these layers of energy that you are trying to deal with and the challenges, but your physical mind is in the 3D world, isn't it, my dear? It is physically living within your world as you are now, as you are not spirit. And in that uh, world that you are living in, the physical mind is trying to reach out for the answers. It feels like it already knows the answers, doesn't it? It gets involved and it says, well, you need to do this, this and this, Joanne. And this is how things are meant to be. We want the physical mind to communicate to the soul. And we want your soul to communicate back your mind to be willing to receive those messages of guidance. The guidance comes from the soul. It's like the inner map, my dear, the inner map of your soul, your heart, reaching out for that communication. So I would say is reach into the soul, my dear. We always explain this to many and Janine. It is talking to the soul. Allow it to talk to you. It has all the answers and what you need to know, it has been on many life paths. It already knows what you need to hear. It is whether you're willing to listen, isn't it, my dear? Or for many, isn't it? So I know that yes. uh, Janine does not always listen to the soul. <laughs> She's quite busy listening to her physical mind. She won't mind me saying. But we try to tell her, is, be quiet for a little while. Listen to what that soul has to say. It is your written book, isn't it, my dear? It has all the information there, the communication that you need. You need to just trust it. But of course, when you connect to that soul, my love, we will step into that vibration and step into your soul even closer. And we will be able to create, I would say, we'll call it, uh, let's call it a DNA link to help it more be understandable. We will create a vibrational link to your soul once it starts to connect to you. And those lines of communication start to increase. So you understand the multifaceted part of your soul, don't you, my dear? We need it to expand its consciousness. We need it to raise itself out beyond your physical self. And the only way that you can do that is to communicate with it. Once you do that, we will step closer, isn't it? I hope that's uh, answered it a little bit more clearly. It did. Um I, I know you said you were listening to Janine and my conversation. And one of the things we talked about was the time where we know we're saying something or spirit is saying something to us. And from what I heard you said, from what you said, it, is it true then, or is my understanding that if we just trusted anything that comes within our awareness would be if we have that connection with spirit from spirit? Yes, the, uh, I didn't quite, I'm using Janine's ears there, my dear. The connection to spirit again, isn't it? You want to raise that connection, isn't it? Is that what you're asking, my love? Well, I, I, from what you said, it's having that, when we hear spirit speaking to us, to trust that. But yet, in our own minds, sometimes we get mixed up with what we're saying, which is repeating my question, but what we're saying so what I'm hearing you say is if we 100% of the time trust, we will 100% of the time be being communicated with spirit. You've just got to trust it, my love. <laughs> it's all having a good chat, isn't it, my love, with yourself? You must trust yourself, my dear. <laughs> okay. 
I didn't trust myself at all when I was here. I wouldn't have trusted anybody, but that was when I was alive. But now in the spirit, we never stop learning. We require the knowledge in spirit too, just like you in your world. We are still evolving and learning. But if you trust with the words that you receive from yourself, more so, my love, you will trust the word of spirit. Because if you don't trust your own words and thoughts, you do not trust your own soul. This is why we always talk about this. Richard will come with the philosophy, come in more depth. I'm a little bit more basic, my love. I say just have a conversation with yourself. Bit like having a telephone call, isn't it? You're on the phone, you talk to a friend and you believe what they're saying on the other end of the phone. Why wouldn't you trust yourself? It's a bit like a phone call, really. You can't get Janine to trust very much sometimes and what she's thinking. But we need her to believe in herself, just as we need you to believe in yourself too, my dear, and many others in the world. We watch the mediums getting a little bit frustrated, trying to have a natter with themselves. I don't believe the words that are coming through. Will you walk out your front door every day? You go out and do your daily jobs. You trust that they will be done. You trust when you get in the morning and have your shower. All the basic things you do from day to day in your world, don't you? You trust that. Why wouldn't you trust your own soul and the spirit? You need to trust the words from yourself. They are going to be the greatest progression of your world. It's a bit like having a house with no foundation. You need to build the mortar up, my dear. The bricks and stones and build them up. Once you listen to the self, the house and the foundation will be built and that structure will be strong the greater connection to the spirit will come, won't it, my dear? You see? I do. Thank you. That it was very clear. You can I put a flower it. bed in the middle of your house if you want. Pretty things up a little bit and make it look pretty. But what we need you to do is listen to what is being heard, the vibration of what you are healing within yourself. You can create a nice space for yourselves to do this and a perfect space that you feel comfortable. This is why I'm saying about the flowers in the house. Is if you create a space that you feel comfortable and rested and at ease, you will hear the self. This is why we are trying to get Janine to slow down a little bit and explain to many to slow down within themselves. When they slow down, they create that wonderful flower bed around them, opportunities to grow, grow other things around them too that they can discover about themselves. These opportunities cannot arise unless you go within, isn't it, my love? Absolutely. That was perfect. I appreciate that answer. One of the things that um, Richard was talking about is different lives building up. And um, I was wondering, or I had the question, do, do we have a limited amount of predestined lives or could our lives go on for infinity? Your vibration and lives will continue for many millennia, my dear. It is limitless, isn't it? I mean, you talk about uh, choosing to come and, I would say, have another lifetime, isn't it, indeed? And you will probably make those choices to have multiple lifetimes. But of course, even when you don't come back for another life, you are still experiencing life within the spirit, 
you'll see what I mean. We are all coexisting at the same time as you in that dimensional shift of energy, but yet our vibration is different to yours. So you associate, well, they are not here at the same time as us. They have passed and gone to spirit. We have passed to go and have another life within the spiritual realm, different learning experiences. So I would say to you, it is just a case of a different vibration, different level of consciousness. We're sort of crossing paths at the same time, but in the same place, if you see what I mean. Your physical selves can't always see us communicating with you and being around you at the same time because you are in that physical, I would say, 3D world. But yes, we go to spirit, but we continue our lives on spirit side of life. But yes, you will choose to have multiple lives and come here onto the earthly plane again if you choose to. But of course, if you do not decide, you will coexist in the spirit. But that life continues, the consciousness continues beyond the realm of spirit. It goes beyond the dimensions of time, the times of loopholes of energy, time energy, you talk it a little bit like uh, going into the future, don't you, or going into the past. We are simultaneously in all those dimensions in one time. Our energy and our spirit is multifaceted, just like you. You are vibrating in this place now. You are also in the future, past and present, aren't you? Yes. It's hard to wrap your head around. Yes, With One of the things I've heard uh, several times is the pros and cons are yes or no to in spirit. Do we live like we would as a human, meaning do we have jobs? Do we have hobbies? What happens when we're in spirit and, and how is supposedly time filled well of course when you are in the spirit realm you are still learning of course we are learning to communicate through janine as you see we're still trying to manipulate the vibration and the energy so of course if she's healing in the physical world we are healing within the spirit we have to work and heal within ourselves there too of course uh, you associate going shopping, don't you, and doing all your daily chores in the physical world, and you say, well, did the spirit world go shopping? But of course, uh, we are in the spirit, and we create what we want within our, I would say, our own spirit and our consciousness. We create what we want to feel and experience, what we want to learn and evolve by. That is our learning experience and life. Of course, many things that we enjoyed in our lifetimes, we can bring into that uh, dimension of time and enjoy those experiences. We have pleasures and desires we enjoy. Um, as we heard you speaking earlier, we bring you sounds and senses and smells, don't we, as we communicate within your mediumship. This is because we can create that into the reality if we choose to desire to do that. But what you must understand, too, is that you're here now, you are in the spirit as well, and you're also having a night, I would say, another life and another lifetime in the future as well. I am here communicating through Janine, and I'm also having a physical life within another lifetime, too. But that, uh, I'd have to get Janine to step further out of the way for that. She's getting a little bit in the way here and saying, well, I don't believe a word of it, Richard. How can you be speaking through me and having another lifetime? We are all multifaceted. Our soul can split and divide into many millions of particles of energy and vibration. And they spiral off into the dimensions of time, loopholes of energy and light. And of course, the light vibration will move that energy and your soul within the universe of space and time. So you are coexisting as spirit, as a living human being all at once. Do you see what I mean, my dear? I do. So if we're living in the past, the present and the future in many different dimensions, is it then possible to be able to predict future events? 
Yes, of course, was when you are Janine Associates, when uh, I bring her a future prediction and uh, bring it to the medium, she thinks it's all coming from me. Of course it is, but it is coming from her own soul too, because she has also reached different dimensions of time without consciously knowing it within this lifetime, if you see what I mean. So she will already know what is about to happen, even though that she won't believe it. And of course, we bring that information to the loved ones that uh, gather around you, my dear. They will bring that communication. They're sort of like the sounding board. They're like the information extra that is coming through. So your soul knows the information that is going to come through for the future, but your spiritual family come in almost sort of like I would say to back you up a little bit to say well look that information is correct your soul knows and we come in to encourage you to believe in what the word of spirit is coming from the self to see what I mean so it is the words of encouragement that is why the guides come and work with you because they already know that you know that answer don't you my dear <laughs> Yes, but do we believe it? That's the thing. It is a question. <laughs> We're back to believing. Uh, <laughs> this is why the loved ones and why we communicate with you, because we know that you've come into this life and you won't have any memory. You won't have any consciousness of the past, of other lifetimes. But your mm -hmm. soul already knows that information. The only reason the loved ones come through and why we are here is to back up that information, to give you, I would say, that back up support to say, look, you need to believe in what you are hearing, because we are here to bring that evidence through, to show you in your vibration that what you are getting is real. But all we need you to do is trust, but uh, that is uh, going to be a, quite a journey for Janine, I can say. I think it's the journey for all of us. <laughs> Um, yeah, she's Alice. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, Alice. <laughs> um, uh, I had more on that one, but I forgot what I was going to say. That was a really good answer that Richard gave. So one of the questions that I had was, there's so much <clears throat> damage and chaos going on in our world. And I know for me, it's hard to believe that we can't destroy our, our world, the earth. Is it a possibility that we could destroy this earth? Well, of course, but uh, I don't mean, of course, you're going to do that. But uh, <laughs> what I am saying is that you associate uh, seeing Mother Earth, don't you? Mm -hmm. That's what you understand and why you're here. But of course, there are many parts of uh, the universe that are undiscovered. There are many uh, planetary systems that are very similar to Mother Earth. In fact, there are many that are identical to her. And they spin round and rotate within the universal planes. They communicate to Mother Earth, a bit like communication, isn't it? Your soul and physical mind. Mother Earth is constantly communicating. And these other earth planets that you have not discovered in your world yet of course you have your nasa don't you uh, these uh scientists that are looking into different planetary systems that have uh, only been partially discovered and you have not been aware that uh, actually there are many other planets very similar to mother earth and there are at least four of them within the universal planes and there are many loopholes of dimension where these planetary systems have coexisted and lived for many millennia. And they send these sort of radar of uh, light and vibration of communication to Mother Earth. It is sort of has a connection of the controlling of the gravitational energy, even how the sun and moon. Mm, I would say Janine's getting in the way again. I have to. She's not trusting what I am saying but they will communicate with the moon, the sun, your planet Earth, to keep it on its axles, spinning around as you understand it. So of course you're going to wonder, will there be extinction of Mother Earth? Will it continue forever? And of course Mother Earth is going to go on for many millennia, but she will become extinct. 
But what I am saying is this is part of the awakening too within Mother Earth. We are trying to connect all the souls, every individual to go through their healing process. So when they come to the spirit and the vibration of spirit, much healing has progressed forward. But when the extinction of Mother Earth does come into the existence, which will be for many millions of years beyond the extinction of the human race as well, the human race will be gone before Mother Earth is gone, my dear. But when you are all in spirit, the vibration of Mother Earth as she becomes extinct will become within the universal planes as it dimensions the solar system. The fragments of her vibration and consciousness will live within the universal planes. Of course, your spirit by this time and many of the humans, as I am too, and many millions and trillions of you will be within the spirit. You will be all within that consciousness of Mother Earth with the vibration of her consciousness as she is left into the universe. All this energy comes together. You see, we are all in spirit. And you are in the living plane now. Many of the dimensional beings are within the consciousness of the universe. You associate them with being uh, little men walking around on four legs, don't you? And uh, presenting themselves in a different way to you for you to understand. But their vibration has come from the consciousness of Mother Earth as she has expanded, exploded and changed over many millennia. That consciousness of Mother Earth and them blend together. They come together as one. That's a source of information, but uh, I'm going to leave it at that because uh, things can become very complicated and uh, you won't believe what I'm saying <laughs> and uh, you won't understand it either. It is not through engineering's comprehension at the moment. But you are all part of that universal energy. Mother Earth has a consciousness as well. She is part of your spirit. She is part of that. And even when she is gone and beyond in this world, you will still be merging and blending with her consciousness too, as with yours. That's beautiful. Thank you. That's encouraging. The other question um, related to that is right now in our world overall, there's so much chaos and anger and uh, just horrible feelings. How do we cope with that in, in you know, our walk in being here? How do we cope with all the stress and the anger that's going on in our world and stay above it? Well, there's quite a lot of anger, of course, in your world, isn't there? Sort of... Uh, all not getting along very well sometimes, isn't it? Between families and uh, as we were hearing you discuss earlier. <laughs> but the communication between you all, it's all struggling along to have a chat, isn't it? And to try to work through the issues. So of course we watch the world and uh, so of course in the, the time that I was here, I was a nurse and I looked after many and uh, in their poorly state, I would say. and. Uh, I would nurse them back to health and bring them back into that place where they can continue their lives. But you're all in this world together. You're not in a war at the moment, thank goodness. Mm -hmm. But you're in the war of the worlds of yourselves. You're all going mm -hmm. through quite a, a great big shift of healing, aren't you, in your world? And you think, well, has this been going on for many years? It's been going on for many millennia, my dear. This healing has been continuing for a long, long time since the uh, humans existed, of course, is what Richard was saying. You're all trying to understand what you're going through. You're trying to understand past life experiences. And some that aren't going through, I would say, a, a spiritual evolving and don't work with the spirit. They are still working with their spirit and trying to understand what is happening to them. But you're all sort of vibrating with different energy. So you all come together in one room and you all react to one another, don't you? Because you're all having different vibrations and different energy. And you're all wanting to communicate and uh, directly talk to one another. But you've all got your little uh, events and challenges and traumatic situations that you are dealing with. 
we just want you to look at it as a little bit more like energy rather than falling out. <laughs> we don't want you to all fall out in the world, but unfortunately in the big world that you live in, there's a lot of fighting and falling out, the occasional war and lots of political situations happening. So, you know, we can't always control that. But the great lesson that you're all trying to understand is energy. It is all energy, mm -hmm. my love. If we can get mm -hmm. you to understand this, you'll be able to sort of step back and reflect and sort of look in and say, OK, that is a reaction to energy. It's like getting two plugs together, isn't it, my dear? And they both spark off one another, don't they, and create electricity. It's all reaction. Right. You see, we try to encourage from the spirit. Not all the guides are working in this way, but we just want you to try to evolve and, and try not to react to one another. Try to look to each other just as energy. So I, it's sort of like when you're having a little bit of a confrontation with somebody, say to yourself, well, that is energy, that is okay. I am reacting to the energy and the vibration of that person rather than the emotions of what I am feeling. It is changing the mindset rather, isn't it, my dear? But you can't sort of uh, get the whole world to change. We can't physically do that for you. We have to wait for you all to do that yourself, don't you? Thank you. That makes a lot of sense and put it in perspective, it's energy. Yes, um, we all, don't react. <laughs> yeah, it's helpful if we can stay in that frame of mind. We forget, though, when we're in the middle of whatever chaos is going on. <laughs> uh, one more question, then we're going to be out of time. Janine wanted to stop um, now. Um, somebody had asked me to explain the meaning of the golden key for mediumship. Oh, the golden key, uh, you associate it with opportunities, don't you? Unlocking the door, I would say. But uh, I will go into a little bit more depth with that. Of course, you're wanting the opportunities to open. You want the communication with the spirit. You want to know where your path is leading. And wanting to lead yourself to the next progression of your, I would say, healing or development. Of course, uh, we want you to come into that present state. So quite often uh, we watch Janine and she says, well, you know, what do I do next? What is the next path that I need to progress on? We always say to Janine to move forward, to evolve is to be still, to move forward and to use that vehicle to get you from, I would say, A to B is to be still. And you're going to say, well, how can I move forward if I'm not doing anything? How can I move forward with my development if I'm just sat here having a lazy day and not thinking about anything? <laughs> but uh, that is a greater progression to move you forward. Because when you're still enough and when you're in that quietness, my dear, the answers to your path will naturally unfold to you. Just like listening to the soul, the soul will be in that quietness and you'll be able to hear it because the mind would have removed itself and got out of the way. Quite often we'll uh, see Janine mapping and planning out uh, different things that she wants to do with us. And of course, we've suggested the ideas. But the only way that we can tell her where she needs to go and what she needs to do for the future is to actually just to be quiet so she can actually hear herself, her spirit, and of course us. I hope that has uh, helped you a little bit, my dear. Absolutely. Thank you. Um, really quickly, one of the things that I see a lot of people do, and I do myself, because it's very hard to live in this world, as you know, is I tell myself, don't come back, don't come back. What happens when we go back home and we do the overview of our life? Do we still have that same feeling about not wanting to ever come back to this planet again? Well, of course, when you're in the spirit realm, my dear, you are going back to your spirit. Uh, you're already connected to your spirit in this lifetime too. Mm -hmm. But you have got that divide, haven't you, between the physical and the spiritual essence of yourself. Your spirit has come with purity. Of course, when it is in the spirit, it's not saying, oh, well, I don't want to go back and have an earthly existence. 
your spirit is pure it wants to learn it wants to evolve it wants to continue it wants that uh, evolution to continue it wants your wisdom to come forward so i would say it wouldn't feel like that at all when it is in spirit it is going to be eager to learn and continue and understand its life path and move forward my dear thank you that was wonderful i figured that was the answer but yes of i asked anyway it's amazing. <laughs> i know janine oh. <laughs> i'm sorry i didn't hear you it is only the mind my dear mind <laughs> is uh a little physical uh, uh, mind of matter, isn't it? It's uh, yeah. not uh, much communication, wanting to say much. And all those words and information fire off each other, you know, little light bulbs of vibration and energy, isn't it? So the mind yeah. listens to the mind and it listens to it more. But we understand that you need the logical side to keep you in this stability to keep you in that grounded centered place of where you are but it is learning to listen and trust the spirit as well isn't it my love it that's the biggest key you've taught absolutely and that's what we'll do thank you so much for taking your time and and talking with us i sure appreciate it and i'm sure everybody that listens to this will appreciate it as well and i would like to if it is okay for a few last words just, uh, sure you've got your mental mind there communicating my dear i want to give you a little visual i want you to imagine the inside of your brain chatting away and communicating and i want you to start to see your soul stepping in a little bit closer now i just want you to close your eyes my love and i want you to see the soul stepping into your mind coming in to blend with your physical mind the beautiful lights of energy vibrating and sparking off each other, allowing the soul to communicate. And I want you to see that soul sitting present within the middle of your mind, sitting there comfortably, a little bit like in a comfy chair. Let it sit there for a while and let it send the information out into the expansion of your consciousness and your physical mind. Let your mind receive the healing of your own spirit. Let it receive the light signals and vibration. I want you to leave you with that in mind. And uh, the many that will hear this today is to uh, it's a little visualization exercise that I would like to need to do too. Thank you. I appreciate that. And I will uh, bring her back, my dear. Okay, thank you. Oh, no. <laughs> I tried to keep it as close as I could. Oh, I had my 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 timer going. Oh my god, it's twenty one forty six, and they stopped talking. <laughs> Hang on, I'll stop record. <laughs>